Oh, hello folks. The bad news is I had more condensation on my camera sensor or glass plate. Actually, it was a glass plate. But the good news is I'm going to redo it again. And this time I'm going to, I'm going to take it apart and show, show you how I'm taking it apart. And I'm also going to clean the glass plate. It turns out I actually took it off when it happened in the middle of the night. And I looked at it and the glass plate had a little spot on it as well. I mean, it had a spot of the condensation, but it had some dust on it that was actually very apparent when, the, uh, the, when it was fogged over. The other thing that I'm going to do is I've, I actually purchased new, I don't know if you can see them. Oops, I set up. I actually purchased new desk and tablets. Now I'm actually gonna have to, they, they come with a, uh, this card in here which these should be blue so it's a it comes with a humidity indicator card and they're pink so that means this thing has to be recharged so I'll recharge those and I'm also going to put an anti dew heater on here I was and I'll show you how I connect that I was wondering whether I need one or not but it looks like since it was on the glass plate uh, I'm going to go ahead and install this thing after all Oddly enough, ASI or ZWO recommends you use uh, spacers to put this thing on, but they also, in the same sentence, they said, but you don't really need it. So I don't know. I'm going to put the spacers on since I have them that, they, as I said, they came with a camera and uh, we'll see how that goes. Anyways, as I said, I'm going to do this inside. I'm not going to talk during this video because I just want to, I want to do, but I'll film myself doing it. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. My name's Kurt Zepatello, and you're watching Astro Quest 1.
hope you enjoyed all that. Yeah, I forgot to mention the earlier on, I put these little dots so the cover and the actual camera housing itself are lined up. Now I'm going to put this thing on here and see how that goes, this, this dew heater uh, thing. And uh, I'm not going to talk during it, so... Okay, that's it. I hope this thing uh, holds up for the rest of the summer anyways. Like I said, I never had any problems with this before until just this year, but it's, as I said, it's been rather humid out, so. Anyways, I hope this Hi everybody, uh, just a follow up. I used isopropyl alcohol to clean my glass plate with. It's 70% uh, uh, isopropyl alcohol and purified water. Now, the ZWO manual, uh, recommends using ethanol and that's all well and good but ethanol here in america you don't just go buy it off the in a retail store unless you go to a liquor store and get a the strongest vodka you can find so what we do have here in america is rubbing alcohol rubbing alcohol is isopropyl alcohol and it's very similar to ethanol the only difference is a methyl group now I actually went on the website for ZWO, the forum, and somebody actually asked this very question, is isopropyl okay? And the answer was yes, it's fine. A lot of other websites here in America, they recommend cleaning your lenses and you know, camera sensors and all that using isopropyl alcohol. They recommended using various concentrations of isopropyl. This is 70%. The most important thing is just make sure it's isopropyl and purified water. That's all that's in here. A lot of your isopropyl solutions may have other stuff in there like fragrances or moisturizers because it's rubbing alcohol. Just make sure yours is just the water, the purified water and the alcohol and you should be fine. Celestron, for example, they say they recommend using 70% because they don't want you to go higher because it might eat away at the glues that are used for holding the lenses and sensors are in place. So the most important thing is just make sure it's just isopropyl and the water, purified water. Okay, on one final note, folks, I'm out here imaging and everything's fine. There's no condensation on the camera and it's a rather humid night, too. So, anyways, I hope this helps and we'll see you later.